Firefighters continue to fight the multiple fires ravaging Los Angeles, as up to 40,000 acres have been burned. Around half of the burned land comes from the Palisades Fire, which continues to grow in size. While the cause of the fires remain unknown, the severity and the growth of these fires can be attributed to the weather, specifically the Santa Ana winds. Typically, the winds in Southern California come from the Pacific. However, when a system of high pressure forms over the California deserts, the winds change direction and flow towards the coast. The topography of Southern California also plays a major role in the development of the Santa Ana winds. Once winds reach the inland Sierra Mountains, the moving air is pushed down and compressed. This wind moves through the mountains and nearby deserts, becoming warmer and drier. Wind speeds increase dramatically throughout this process as the air funnels through canyons and valleys, which is similar to how water moves faster when passing through a hose. Once the winds reach the coast, their fast, warm and dry conditions become perfect for fire development and growth. So far, the strongest winds recorded during the fires were around 100 miles per hour, which is considered hurricane force strength. The strong Santa Ana winds are still expected to remain throughout the week, which is not ideal for the ongoing fight to contain the fires. For Weather Around the World, I'm meteorologist David Guerrero.